estaba yo manejando por la huilo con mi esposo. Yo iba bien y de repente hice una parada. Continué manejando cuando miré que la policía me echó la luz. Me paré a un lado y esperé que llegara el policía y me dijo que bajara del carro. Me bajé dejando a mi esposo en el carro. Me hizo preguntas sobre mi nombre, la licencia, aseguranza, etcétera, etcétera. Me esculcaron el carro y no encontraron nada. En eso la policía me, di, me dijo otras cosas que yo en realidad no le, le entendía. De repente, mi esposo no sabía el por qué me estaban esposando y me metieron al carro de la patrulla. En ese momento, me sentí que yo no tenía derecho a nada. Me sentí leccionada, ultrajada y destruida. Cuando de repente me doy cuenta que no respetan los derechos como seres humanos. La razón que comparto este testimonio es para, es para ser la voz de muchos que han vivido esta misma situación. Our police department and our police union have been supporters and willing participants in this effort because they want to be better, they know we're not perfect, they want a great department and we will all work together. So I'm really proud that we have a department that takes these matters seriously. I take them seriously, the manager takes them seriously, the city council takes them seriously, our police department does, and our police union does. Many people think it's not a big problem. Well, it is a big problem in some instances. And while we have a great department, mistakes get made. We are dealing with humans. We have high standards for our officers. They don't always do the right thing. So we have to have a chief that can enforce the law, make sure our officers are following the law and following the policy. Racial profiling is against the law. It's against departmental policy. And our officers have to be held to that standard. The first step is to admit that racial profiling exists. It exists in every police department in this nation because racism exists in every institution in our nation. So we have to first understand that it doesn't mean that the officers are racist to say there's racial profiling. What it means is that we have a system that's set up that inherently is biased towards people of color and we have to work together to figure out what we can do to lessen those effects as a community and as a police department and as a city. council district in the fair and the Santee area, I would love for the police officers to be there for 10 years, the same officers, so that they can get to know the neighborhood, so that they can work more effectively with the neighborhood. I'm very interested in sitting down with the, the chief, the POA, uh, PAC, and uh, the mayor to really explore the options. I do think it would be better if we had longer assignments. It's inexcusable um, how we approach our criminal justice system right now and how we treat the youth in particular. Uh, I've worked most of my adult life in the criminal justice system representing poor people, most of whom were young. And it's a shame how we treat young people and all the people in our justice system. Our criminal justice system can be unnecessarily cold to poor communities and certainly the youth. I just wanted to inform you that about five months ago, um, the San Jose Police Department, uh, Lieutenant John Spicer and also uh, Jose from the, mayor's off, uh, from the mayor's office actually started to look into this program and they actually went down to Salinas to do some research to see how we can implement components of this program in the city of San Jose. We are not immigration, we are not ICE. I've said this over and over, I don't care about immigration status, I care that you're following the laws and you are and you have every right to live someplace and live safely, work in a safe environment, live in a safe environment and have your kids play in a safe environment. For individuals that are charged with non-serious, non-violent offenses, 
immigration status is something that we can consider in crafting a sentence that is fair. And not a sentence that's equal, but a sentence that's fair, because I think what you want here is for treat people to be treated as individuals. Mr. De Cortesi, would you work with us to pass a similar policy at the county level? Yes. Si se puede. Thank you. Si se puede.